Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my 10 minute makeup routine as a mom to three. So as I get older and the more children that I have, I like to keep things really simple when it comes to my makeup. I like feeling like fresh. I like it feeling lightweight, something that I can, you know, look natural in and knock out my routine in like 10 minutes. I try not to go over 10 minutes because I'm just so busy with my three kiddos. So I like to keep things super simple, but also really fresh and natural looking, especially during the summer because it is so hot where we live. So really quickly, I want to thank Merit Beauty for gifting me some products. So they just redesigned their minimalist stick. This is one of my holy grail products, you guys. It is amazing. So you can use this as a foundation. I've seen lots of people do that. I personally don't use it that way because I don't really ever wear foundation ever. So I only really like spot correct or I, you know, just do concealer, which I need. So this one right here is their old design of their minimalist stick. And then this one is their new design. So there's a few differences when it comes to the packaging. So this one up top is their new one. This one is their old one. So the shade is a little bit different. This one is a little bit darker. This one is a little bit lighter. And they just have a few differences. So the new one has gold on here. But the main, the main thing that they did is they now offer more product for your money. So this did not change in price at all. It is the same price point. It's also the same formula that everybody loves. They did not change the formula because it's amazing. So why would you change something if it's not broke? You know what I mean? So it's the same exact product. It's basically, you just get more for your money now. So this one is the old one that I was using and this was in the shade Ecru, I believe. So it's E-C-R-U. But the new one that I got is in the shade O-C-H-R-E. So again, price point is still the same. You just get 1.7 times the product. So I love that they did that because there was absolutely nothing wrong with this formula. It's so lightweight, creamy, it blends in like a dream. So I love that. So I am really excited to try out this shade since I got a new one. I really loved this one that I was using, but I feel like it was a little too yellowish on my skin. I definitely do have yellow undertones in my skin, but I feel like this one was just a little too yellow for me. But I don't know, now looking at the shades, I'm kind of questioning it because this one looks even more yellow. But I don't know, we're gonna try it out. I do have a little tan going on right now because we were out in the sun. So hopefully this one isn't too yellow on me, but I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into my makeup routine. So the first thing that I do, oh, by the way, I did do my brows off camera already. So for my brows today, I use Merit Beauty again, and this is in the shade Black Brown. This is their um, brow pomade. So it looks like this and then to set my eyebrow hair so that way they don't move during the day i use the nyx control freak clear eyebrow gel so the first step in my makeup routine and this is a must because i burn so easily spf you guys you have to use spf trust me even if it is like a cloudy day or even if you're gonna just like be sitting in your house spf because the sun comes in through your windows. Ladies, put that SPF on, I'm telling you. Don't skip out on this. So the one that I love is by Sarah B. And this is their Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. So my friend Mac actually put me on to this because I was using Sarah V's, um, I believe it was like their AM SPF. There's a different SPF that they have that comes in a different bottle. And I was using that one and I love the formula. It kept me from like burning and stuff. So it did what it was supposed to, but when it came time to rubbing it into my face, it was not the best. It was kind of like streaky and then it would kind of like ball up on my face. So it was just really hard to rub in. And this one blends out so good. So if you use the other CeraVe SPF and you have that same like problem with it blending in, 
try out this one because this one is so much better. So this one has SPF 30 in it. So I always put this all over my face. I even like add this onto like down my neck, my arms. And I don't know if you guys can even tell, but I am really, I'm like really burned right now. <laughs> we went to the park the other day and we were there for pretty much all day. Benny's family had like a family reunion thing going on. So we were in the sun like all day. And even though I put on sunscreen, I burned really bad. So I have like a tan slash <laughs> burn going on right now. So hopefully I don't come off like too red in the camera. I'm gonna go in with a minimalist stick now. And again, this is the shade O-C-H-R-E. I'll have all of my makeup products linked down below in the description so you guys can shop Merit Beauty. And now that I have this on my face, I think this shade is gonna work better for me than the other one. And then I also like to add this around my nose because I do have some redness right there so i like to add that and then to blend this out i am also going in with merit beauty this is their blending brush so here's what their brush looks like i'm gonna just blend it out and i like to drag this a little down like towards my cheeks because i do have a little redness there do you guys see how like easy that was to blend out this and this Holy Grail products. Seriously, the best. It just blends everything out so good. So to set that, I'm going in with NYX. This is their HD finishing powder. I definitely need to go out and get another one. So I'm gonna just kind of put powder all over my face just to kind of get rid of all that shine from the sunscreen that I put on. So over on my Instagram, I told you guys to send in some questions for me. So I'm going to pull those up and answer some of them while I finish doing my makeup. First one is, what are your kids' middle names and why? So I guess we'll start oldest to youngest. So Layla, her middle name is Faith. And Benny actually came up with her middle name. So when I went into labor with Layla, we actually were not set on a middle name yet. And since she was our first baby, Benny was really nervous while I was in labor. He said that he prayed a lot while I was giving birth because he was just super nervous about it. So he said he had a lot of faith. So we ended up naming her Layla Faith. So Benny is the one that chose her middle name, Aurora. We did Aurora Rose. Her middle name doesn't have any meaning. It's just a name that we both loved. And then for Everly, Everly's middle name is Zoila. So it's Everly Zoila. And Zoila is actually Benny's grandmother's name, great grandmother's name. And then for Jade's middle name, hers is Iris. So her name is Jade Iris. And the reason why we chose Iris is because it means rainbow. The Greek meaning is rainbow and Jade is our rainbow baby. If you don't know what a rainbow baby is, it's a baby that you have after you've experienced a loss, whether it be um, miscarriage, stillbirth, pregnancy loss, infant loss. A baby after any loss, any type of loss is considered a rainbow baby. So since she was our rainbow baby, we decided to give her the middle name Iris. So those are all of our baby's middle names and before, Anybody says it, even though Aurora's middle name doesn't have meaning, it is still really special to us. We still absolutely love it, no regrets there. I swear there's always like that one person that always has to like compare everybody's children, but all of them are special in their own way. And even though hers has no meaning, we still absolutely love it. I still very beautiful. So just wanted to say that because I know there's always that one person that has to be like, well, you did this for this kid. You didn't do this for the other kid and there's no reason to compare, okay? But the next product that I'm going to be using is also by Merit Beauty and this is their 
cheek color so this is in the shade beverly hills so i like to put a decent amount of this so i kind of just like swipe it on my cheek and then i'll blend it in i am all about blush right now it's my absolute favorite so i just swipe it on and then i actually use my fingers and i just kind of blend it into my skin so the next question is is it comfortable to wear leggings after birth or are dresses better so i think this is definitely something that is different for everybody everybody has their own preference after i've given birth i personally like to wear like leggings because i like that tightness feeling because after you've given birth your stomach can feel like really squishy and it can kind of feel like stuff is still gonna fall out of you you're still bleeding really heavily so for me personally i like that compression feeling so i like to wear leggings especially since you're wearing like a giant diaper or like giant pad you know what i mean so i like just having that extra coverage but i did chill in either my hospital gown or i did actually wear like a t-shirt dress while i was in the hospital but when it came time to going home I just felt a lot more comfortable wearing leggings. So definitely just your preference on that. I'm going in with Merit's Highlighting Balm. So this is in their shade Cava. This one is really pretty. So I like to put some on my nose. And then I like to put some just right here. And then again, just blend it in with my fingers. So the next question is, how often do you do toy rotations? And this person actually sent this question in from India. I think it's just so amazing that I can sit here, film a video and, you know, chat with you guys. And you guys are like from all over the world. I think that is just truly amazing. So her question again was, how often do you do toy rotations? So I typically try to aim for every two weeks. But as the kids are getting older, I usually just do toy rotations based off how they are playing. So sometimes I do a toy rotation after just a week of changing the toys. Sometimes I do a toy rotation, you know, two weeks. Sometimes I do it once a month. It kind of just depends on how the kids are playing in the playroom. So if I notice that they're playing really good with the toys, they don't seem to be getting bored, they're still playing with everything, then I will hold off on rotating the toys. But if I notice they are totally not into the toys that I put out, they're not really playing with it, they're getting bored easily, then I will try to rotate the toys as soon as possible. So I just follow their lead. The next question is, how come you don't post as much on YouTube? I miss your videos. First off, thank you. I know so many of you guys miss our videos too. And honestly, I miss filming them. But just the season of life that we are in right now, it's just so, so much easier for me to pump out way more content on TikTok and Instagram because it's way easier for me to edit on my phone, film on my phone. It's easier for me to pop out quick little one minute videos here and there versus sitting down like this and talking with you guys. And also too, as my kids are getting older, I don't want to have the camera in their faces 24 7. Layla especially has expressed to me that she doesn't really like being in front of the camera anymore so I don't ever want to force my kids to be on social media. I don't ever want to force them to film or anything like that so I'm just trying to respect them. I'm also trying to give myself grace because I am a mom to three kids. Being on social media can be a lot sometimes and I'm just trying to respect them, you know. I'm just trying to do as best as I can. And right now, for me, that is just posting whenever I have the time. Like right now, the kids are, you know, chilling, playing over there quietly. So I have the time to sit down and film right now, but that isn't always the case because my house is really loud with the three kids. Also, with Finn, he's usually barking. So it's just a lot easier for me right now to film on TikTok and Instagram. So for mascara, again, this is Merit. This is their lengthening mascara, and this is in the shade Perfect Black. So to finish off my quick makeup look, I'm going in with Merit's 
tinted lip oil this is in the shade taupe this one is just like a really pretty natural rosy color it's kind of like your lips but a little something something so that is my full face 10 minute makeup routine with merit beauty let me know your guys's thoughts on this look i absolutely love it i am obsessed with just like makeup products that really enhance what you have already and i feel like merit beauty does just that so i will leave my affiliate link down below so you guys can check out merit beauty you can get free shipping on orders over 40 and if you are making a first purchase with merit beauty you can get their signature bag which i absolutely love i was using it as my makeup bag but i actually now use it as my nail bag because i'm trying to get into doing my own nails at home so that's what i use that bag for but i love it because there's so many things that you can use it for so don't forget to check out merit beauty down below but thank you again to merit beauty for sending me some new goodies i love them i've been using them for like two years now i want to say i'm not sure but i've been using them for a really long time now and i will never go back to any other makeup products they are just so amazing it makes my makeup routine so simple but thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me for the day i gotta go take care of the kids i don't know if you guys hear them in the background but they're getting antsy back there so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed over here to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye i'm buzzing let's drink up your death look like big fun come on let's get it on like that I'm finna get some, I'm stunning, you